Hey guys, so we're in the midst of working on the brakes on the Porsche 912 and notice that there's a lot of movement here we shouldn't have so we are going to pull this pedal cluster, the car, and replace the bushings in here. I'm not really sure what's going to come out of here, how this is going to work. There's a nut there, and there's a nut over here. And you can see through that hole the master cylinders are moving the car. Let me get these nuts off here and see what goes next. Looks like this is attached to the accelerator pedal, so I'll pop that off. I'm not sure what's under there for the clutch. This little piece of asphalt impregnated stuff pulls up. So it may have some access in there. Let me, let me get a little further in and I'll bring you back. So back here at the business end of the clutch, is a jam nut and a little barrel and this is what this is your clutch cable these are 11 millimeter this thing is pulled way up and this clutch is in pretty good shape so so i'm thinking those bushings are part of the problem so let's get this thing off here So we'll back this off and get some slack in there. So I backed this adjustment off a pretty good bit. Of course I'm in your light, but I should be able to pull this clevis out of this fork and get the cable unhooked. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do all this at one time, but it's not captured. So I should be able to push this forward and pull this barrel out of this fork and get the cable loose. Okay, that's out of there. Let's go back up front. So the clutch cable's off. The accelerator cable, rod, whatever, we should be able to just pop this thing off. That's off. Not sure what we're going to run into with the whole clutch setup. So, looks like there's a clip right here. Let's see how a mirror works. Thing, but I'm guessing this thing will pop off there. Okay, so it will. It is a pin that's captured, so now our clutch should be free and our pedal cluster is free. Meanwhile, back at the bench. This is the clutch that has a ton of free play. This is our master cylinder rod. Once you get off the stop with the spring, it's pretty bad. And then here's our accelerator. Apparently this is a not uncommon problem and this is the solution for it. So let's try to get set up and we'll figure out how all this stuff goes in there.
this is not clamping the vise very well. So obvious, we're gonna do the obvious stuff first. There's a cotter pin right here for the accelerator pedal. come out and then this that's the accelerator pedal portion of it and that is all crumbled it's like plastic dust So all these appear to be concentric. Everything runs inside itself. And so I think the uh, clutch pedal has a roll pin. So let's get that up in the vise. We'll figure out how to knock that out. There's a roll pin through here. Not sure how well this is gonna work. My guess is not very. Yeah, pretty much as I suspected, that thing does not want to come out of there. Um, what happens is you run the risk of mushrooming it over and making it worse to come out. We need extra hands. Normally these pins are hard as a rock. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, pretty much laughing at the drill bit. Yeah, let's go up a little bit and see if that does anything. Perhaps if we drill down below the surface, maybe we can do the punch trick. Feel that punch is too big, but it looks like it's working. It is working. There's the pen. That is a 3 16th punch. If you, anybody trying this at home. Now that that pin's out of there, maybe this will just pry off. Yep, so let me look for a puller and hopefully we can get a puller under there and pull this rod off. The pullers I have, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the jaw under there because there's not enough room. So we're going to apply a little heat and see how that goes. Maybe a little reverse psychology, we can knock it out.
Sometimes you need to get medieval. I had to take this to work and use the oxyacetylene torch to get this thing off here. And then I ended up bending the end of this. So I heated it back up and bent it back somewhat straight. So I'm assuming this is how this comes apart. I really don't know. So it looks like as I pull this tube out, this brake return spring is going to unleash itself. So here goes. That wasn't too bad. There's that. There's pretty much no bushings in there at all. It's like just crumbled dirt. The rest of the bushing should be in there and they're gone. So we'll get this in the parts washer and clean it up. Let's get this put back together before I forget how all of it goes. So that would be the brake pedal assembly and that would go, should go like that. These appear to be the only bushings that fit in it. So they will go in there. I know it's the wrong hammer. tube is going to go through all that. I guess that needs to go in there next. So it does not want to go through the bushing on that end from the inside. Oh, no, it's through the bushing. There we go, through the housing. That nut holds that on. assume the next two bushings go inside this tube. No other place they can go. So these must be for the throttle. Pretty 
much that's the only way it could go. Let me go ahead and knock those in. that washer goes out here on the end and a cotter pin goes through that okay since all the mayhem that had to happen to this I'm going to grind and file some of this down so <laughs> a it'll go through there and B we can get this thing back on that with a flap disc. I don't want to take too much off. Kind of defeat the purpose of the whole project. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to run a file through that too based on all the violence that had to occur to get it off there. I ran a file in there. Now this thing about falls on here. I need to line up that hole. And this roll pin goes through there. We'll flip this over and do this from the other side. Tapered that a little bit. Quick before the mower gets back. Okay. There's like, good, no movement. Now there's one bushing left. This is for the clutch linkage. That one looks absolutely perfect, but we'll knock it out of there and stick that in there anyway. Don't want to suck up my nuts. So not exactly remembering where we were. Everything's put back together here. I think I probably hit it out of frame, but the brass bushing is in the clutch pivot. Brake pivot, clutch. Everything's painted. So let's put it back in the car.
that area has been painted. We put a little oil. We put a little oil in the uh, pivot for the gas pedal. Accelerator pedals hooked up, clutches hooked up. This thing's finally wrestled in here. Let's get it bolted in. Guess we can go to the back and get the clutch cable hooked up. Pretty much a whole bunch of this, and then we'll go adjust to free play. So that's probably a reasonable amount of free play until we get the pedal pads, the floorboard back in, etc. That was pretty far taken up, but I think part of that had to do with how much free play was up here. Next, we'll get the master cylinder in there. on that portion.